Hey guys, it's Mo from Mo Marine Sets, and today we're doing a double unboxing for a Lumicrate. So I guess we can start off with the second package. So I bought an exclusive Lumicrate book. It came in this month, last month, something like that. I've been waiting for my Lumicrate box to come in to do the unboxing with y'all, but let's check it out. That gold foiling. Whew. So this is the Song of Achilles, and I want to say it's Circe. I don't I don't know how to pronounce the other one, or Circe. But this is by Madeline Miller. I got her exclusive edition copy, and no, I have not read Song of Achilles yet. I am going to read it very soon. Maybe I'll end add it to my February TBR, but I already wrote that, so who knows? I'm a mood reader, so I might just read it because I want to. Anyway, it is gorgeous. The gold foiling exquisite spine look at that that is lovely look at that isn't that lovely this is with bloomsbury and it definitely looks like one of those old school books and it's gorgeous Ooh, you heard that paper crack i did not expect that paper crack the end pages are also gold foiled the paper feels luxurious it feels like very luxurious paper it is signed by madeline miller gorgeous i don't know how paper can feel and smell expensive but it does i love the way this paper smells i don't know why maybe i've been smelling really bad strong inked paper but this one actually smells very nice high quality the paper feels thick and good it's a thick gums and I'm excited to experience the Song of Achilles in this format. It is very nicely made book. Very nicely made. The Song of Achilles. Gorgeous. Beautiful. End pages. Signature. It still has that same expensive paper, thick paper feel. It is gorgeous. What a gorgeous book. There is no type of illustration or artwork within the pages, which I honestly thought there would be, but it's okay. The book is very beautiful. It definitely looks like a very old school book. I'm excited to experience Song of Achilles in this medium. I really hope this is a five star book because I bought the exclusive edition of it because I had. I was just really, I was just really trigger happy, and I got it. I don't, I've never read Song of Achilles. I don't even know if it's one of my favorite books. Hopefully it is, so I can keep it. If it's not, I'll probably just resell it. But, um, I got Song of Achilles. I might just read it now because it just smells so good. I don't know about you guys, but have you ever smelled a book and the ink is so strong that it kind of gives you a headache? Is that just me? I don't know, I got a new book recently from Fairy Loot, and I was reading it, and the ink and paper smell was so strong, it was slowly giving me a headache, and I was like, what is this? I don't read brand new books often, because I usually go to the library, or I borrow my friend's books, or something like that, so I'm never, like, reading new books often. I was like, is this what new books smell like? I was highly concerned, but I'm very happy for this. Unboxing of Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. My next unboxing is the original Aluma Crate box for January. This will only be my second box I've ever gotten from Aluma Crate. And last month, if you check that out, I was not very pleased with all the items that came with it. I did not feel like all of them were really useful to me or my life or to anyone. So I like to judge my boxes based off of what I'm going to use it for, if I'm going to use all the items that come in the box, and so on and so forth. So, the theme for this month was Royal Secrets. Very cool, very nice. And we start off first with We Hunt the Flame. And tell me how I have the ebook on the Kindle Unlimited ready to read in my Kindle, already downloaded for this book. And now I have character art for it. I love character art for it. This looks so cute and beautiful. It is a puzzle. 
I I like the casing that the puzzle comes in, but I just don't see myself actually doing the puzzle. So I feel meh about this item. I do like that it is character art, so I do find it practical because I love character art. I feel like character art makes the immersion far deeper. It makes you understand the characters more, and you get to like compare your imaginative version of the character to the actual version of the character of what the character is supposed to look like by the author. And I'm YA Monique would have really liked this, but older Monique, not so much. I still like it. It's art, but I don't know. We'll give this a 3 out of 5 of practical use for Monique's life. Ooh. The next item are socks. Fuzzy, wuzzy socks. These are white socks, which I don't really care for white socks because I feel like they get dirty so easily. And this is Under the Orange Tree Socks, inspired by The Prairie of the Orange Tree, which is one of the books I actually do want to read. I am happy I have socks because my feet get cold and I love having fuzzy socks to wear. So this will get a buy because I can use socks in my lifestyle. And they're pretty neutral-ish. They're white with like a little character on them. I can totally use them in my life. Next item, I have no clue what this is. Okay, I assume we put it together like this. Yeah, so there's like a little key hole. And then there's like this little stand and it has like this earthy. Does this kit you give you um prison healer vibes? I've never read prison healer, but from the look of it. Your survivor phone holder. I do not care about this at all. I probably won't ever use this as a phone holder. I wish it was actually a bookend for like a bookcase. I feel like that would be more practical. But it's totally prison healer. It was totally inspired by prison healer. I'm happy I got that right. I will never use this as a phone kit phone holder though no use for me no artwork next item is actually a the never tilting world necklace it has a night sky happening on it i assume the other side is probably the day sky it is a stunning spinning pendant necklace inspired by the never tilting world i don't like costume jewelry so i probably will never use this I might just put it on my bookcase for decoration if I like the other side of the sunshine part, but I don't like costume jewelry. I like the other side. It's my color scheme. It's yellow. It's so happy. Uh, I might put it up as decoration on like a bookcase or something, but I don't really care about it. So maybe I'll give it away. I'll give this a two because I feel like I can force it into my life, but I kind of don't want to. Goes back in the box. I'll probably give it away. Okay. This one comes with two books. Two books. First book is... Ooh, looks pretty. The Ivory Key. And we have two stunning women on the cover. Four siblings, a country in ruin. One quest to save them all. Nice. This is an exclusive cover with a Luma crate and it is beautiful. Look at it. Blue sprayed edges. Gorgeous. It is indeed paperback. Oh, and the chapter headers have a cute little design on them. The author left a little note in a signature. Darling. Ooh, there's a pretty map in this one. I know some of you guys are really into maps. I don't care about maps, but for everyone who does, it has a map in it. This looks like a fun and easy read. I'm not sure anything about the book, honestly. This is her debut YA fantasy novel, and we have an author letter, so I'm excited to figure out more about this book. I give it a five because it is a book, it has practical use, and I can read it. Four siblings on a quest to find this ancient artifact to save their kingdom, and there's gonna be some family drama in this. I'm excited to read this. It does look really beautiful, the cover. I do like the artwork. I'm curious to see what the original cover was for this. I think this is an exclusive Loom Crate cover. So I do like the artwork on this one. I want to see the original cover. So we have, I guess these are the sisters. And on the back we have, I believe, the brothers. Which would make sense, four siblings. The Ivory Key is about four siblings on this quest to find an ancient artifact that will pretty much open the gates to saving their kingdom 
it seems really interesting. I feel like we're going to have maybe a few different points of view since there are four siblings. And a few others. I did notice though. One of my pages is torn on the little tippity tip tip tip. So we have a torn page. Sad. That is sad. Came to me torn. I think it bent and got a little torn. Probably during the sprayed edges part. It doesn't bother me. I'm not like a big person who's like my books must be in perfection. That's not me. And besides, if I really love this book, I'll just buy the exclusive co copy. So it's fine. It doesn't bother me. And I always have to keep these little things for when I travel and I go on road trips with my books so I can just like toss a bunch of books into them. Love them. The second book and the box, the book box of the book of the book of the box of the book box, the main book. The Woven Kingdom. Tell me how this was one of my 2022, 22 books to read in 2022. What the freaking heck. I'm so happy I did not order the exclusive edition from some other book box company because look how gorgeous this is. It's so pretty. Look at those sprayed edges. Those sprayed edges though, they really oomph. Oh, we have a those end pages though. Gorgeous. It is indeed signed by the author. And it is this Wolven Kingdom. A lot of people love this author. She wrote the very popular series Shatter Me, which I still have yet to read. I'm gonna read it before the exclusive edition comes out from I think it's a Loom Creator Fair Loot, I don't remember. But they have an exclusive edition coming out and I actually really want the exclusive edition. So I'm gonna read it to see if I love it enough to buy the exclusive edition. End pages are gorgeous. Ooh. The chapter mark. The chapter headers are gorgeous. It's on its own separate page. It is lovely. And this book is sticky. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. This Woven Kingdom is an uh, anticipated release for a lot of people, so I'm excited to read it. This is the art that came inside the book with the author letter. And this is indeed a new cover, newly designed Limo Crates exclusive cover. It is lovely. It's so beautiful. It has gold foiling and silver foiling, and it just looks exquisite. I am so happy I did not buy the exclusive edition for this because it came in my book box, and that is a relief within itself. So this Woven Kingdom is about a girl named named Alizé and she is a servant hiding in plain sight because she is the long lost heir to uh, the kingdom and the current crown prince Cameron he's been hearing all these prophecies about how his father's gonna die the death of the king and he has this fancy for the girl the servant girl with strange eyes and he can't put her out of his mind but she will soon uproot his kingdom that sounds good. I can't wait to read it. It's called This Woven Kingdom, and I feel like this title might somehow intertwine with the story. So I'm excited to figure out how it does because I feel like this title is so unique. This Woven Kingdom. So my judgment for this box out of the six items in the box, I will be using a three and a half of them. That's pretty much a 55% ish so it's still pretty low for how much I want my Illumicrate box to be I would really like it to be like 70 80 even 60 above I don't know I just want it to be worth the money I'm putting into it for me for my personal Monique lifestyle so that is this much judgment out of these two books though I have to say though I'm excited to read this Wolven Kingdom I will probably do a book talk for you guys because I'm going to start reviewing all the books I get in my book boxes because I actually read the books that I come in my book boxes to know like is this book box for me? Does it provide me with books I want to read every month? And I really hope they end up working out. This is my first time ever doing book boxes. I'm subscribed to Illumicrate and Fairy Loot Books Box and I would like to add on sometime throughout 2022 book of the month because they always have really good books they're recommending and I feel like I won't have to deal with like the whole fandom stuff because some fandoms are really nice and I love the beautiful books and spread edges and some of the exclusive artwork and stuff but some of the fandom stuff just falls short for me so I really want to do book of the month but not now later in the year because I want to 
catch up on some of my current TBR before I start adding like a book every month from book a month onto it. And I think with my TBR right now, I can deal with a book coming every twice a month, two books from a and Crate and Fairy Loot, and it's not going to be a big deal because I read relatively quickly. I really want to start reading this. Is it the beautiful cover that makes me want to read it? Probably, yes. I really want to start reading this. And I'm so happy this is finally here, Song of Achilles. I really want to start reading this too. Okay, right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my Aluminum Crate unboxing. Be sure to check out my Aluminum Crate playlist. And I will be reviewing the books that come in my book boxes because I feel like a lot of booktubers don't actually do that. And I want to know, what's the book actually good that came in your book box? So I can know, should I subscribe to this book box so I can get good books sent to me monthly? Question mark. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to stay tuned for my future videos. Subscribe and don't forget I'm here every Friday. Love you guys. Bye.